From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. So what a cryptic language our Lord uses there. Another hyperbole, we could say, similar to when our Lord says we should hate our hate hate our family, hate our parents. And uh, we should lose our life and if we want to save it in other, other passages. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent are taking it by force. Well, we do suffer violence. The church suffers violence from the outside and we suffer violence in the inside if we're following Christ. Suffer violence through persecution and we suffer we do violence to ourselves on our way to heaven, on our path to heaven, through all kinds of things, through all kinds of mortifications, through all kinds of denying, deny, denying ourselves, denying our desires, and, uh, but also working, working hard for our salvation, working hard for, to practice charity, to, to serve God, working hard and contrast that of course with laziness, indigence, negligence, not doing our duty, procrastination, this kind of thing is a contrast to perhaps using the word violence which our Lord uses. So violence is that strong word to really shake us up and make us realize that we gotta move, we gotta act, we gotta work, we've got to Strive hard to get to heaven. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling so that we be afraid of not getting to heaven. Be afraid of offending God and displeasing him. Be afraid of not doing what we're supposed to do in this whole life. Do violence to oneself. Strive really hard. Strive with all our efforts and strive with all our love for God and let that love and, you know, make us pound on the doors of heaven to get there, to get the graces we need to, to be holy, to help others to find salvation. Strive hard with all those petitions knocking on the door of, of heaven. That's what God wants us to do. And if we do, we will get to heaven. We will be there. Our Lord wants us to, to pound on his on the door asking for so many graces and so many things for our holiness and for the good of the world and good good of our neighbor as opposed to kicking back and living a life of ease and comforts and having everything our own way and not doing our duties being lazy all of that is the contrast there if we do that we may find ourselves not taking heaven not taking heaven by force as those who are practicing their faith and loving God and serving God with all their heart, soul, and strength. So let us be among those who are violent in that sense and find our place in the kingdom of heaven.